Welcome, everyone, to a Final Fantasy 13 edition of Insider Moves. I'm Ryan Trite. And I'm Danny Atkin. And the first true blue Final Fantasy game has found a home at last on Xbox 360. And believe me, it definitely lives up to its Japanese role-playing game pedigree. Gorgeous, beautifully choreographed cutscenes? Check. Seriously quirky characters with crazy deep backstories? Check. Turn-based combat with a world of strategy? Check again. But all that being said, while the spirit of the turn-based genre is definitely in full effect here, the approach, the mechanics, the way everything plays out is definitely brand new. So Denny and I will kind of break down a few tips that really helped us play through Square Enix's latest masterpiece. Well, if they're daring us to mount a rescue, I'll take that action all in. All right, the first rule of Final Fantasy XIII is that you don't need to micromanage and manually enter each ability. When you go into combat, use that auto combat button. Now what this whole system hinges on, the ability for your AI to actually recognize when they should use a certain ability or when they shouldn't use a certain ability, is to have properly researched all the enemies. So anytime, anytime you run into a new enemy, use Libra or use Libroscope to fully research it. so good. They all want to fight. Good for them. Yeah, now the combat in Final Fantasy XIII isn't really even about the abilities. It's about the paradigms. Shifting the paradigms to attack at the right time, to protect at the right time, to heal at the right time, that's the key to getting through these fights. Now the one thing that's definitely helped me out throughout the entire game is when you're dealing, let's say, with a single target. You've got the Commando, Ravager, Ravager combo. Now the Commando, what it's primarily doing is when it hits the enemy, it's slowing down that enemy's chain gauge. When the Commando is hit it once or twice, it's really not being that effective anymore, right? So what I like to do is switch your entire party to nothing but Ravagers and you will skyrocket the chain gauge, staggering the enemy so, so much quicker. When you're in a particularly tough battle and your party's health is starting to tank, we suggest you summon an Adolin. Now, these guys are really powerful, very handy. But more important, once that Adolin leaves the battle, all of your party's health will be replenished and any party members who've been knocked out will be back in the battle. So one technique that I don't think people realize just how important it is, is preemptive strike. The way it works is you get behind an enemy and you engage in combat with them before they realize that you're there. Use Preemptive Strike in conjunction with Quake, so you have a good chance of, of staggering pretty much the whole lot of them, which can turn a two and a half minute battle into a 15 second one. It's, when it works, it's beautiful. Odin. Now here's one thing that I ran into that I didn't even realize was in the game, but has proved so, so helpful, and that's juggling. The way launch works is once an enemy is staggered, their next attack they can throw that enemy into the air. And it's not just it's not just for looks. It actually ends up helping produce more damage. What you want to make sure happens is the enemy stays in the air. So let's say I have one commando, let's say it's snow, and snow hits the enemy up into the air. Now I've already got all of my abilities are ready to roll. I can just tap A and attack. But I'm gonna let snow get his three attacks in. And then finally I throw my attacks up. So now this enemy has continued to be in the air, and if it's just right, if the timing's all there, it'll be cyclical, because then snow will come back up, and it just keeps on going until the enemy gets whittled down. Even better, it's relaxing. It just, once you get it, once it's going, it just feels good. It's like a dance. It's just perfect rhythm. All right, that brings another episode of Insider Moves to an end, and as Vanille would say, ah! Whoa, calm yourself there. <laughs> Thanks for watching Inside Xbox.